you've been charged with driving while your license is suspended in Ontario. The police officer that charged you, they actually gave you, it looks like a ticket, but it's actually a summons that requires you to go to court. What's going to happen at that court date? Here are five things that you need to know. First, your court date, it's not a trial. So the first time that you're going to go to court for your driving while under suspension charge in Ontario, it's not a trial date. It's actually called a first appearance. Uh, this court date is simply the first time that you're going to appear in court for your driving suspension charge in Ontario. Two, the police officer will not be there. Because this court date is not a trial, the officer that charged you will not be there. The only time the officer will appear in your court process is if you take your case to trial. If your case goes to trial, the court will compel, will make sure that the officer shows up to give the evidence needed to support the prosecutor's case against you. Three, get the evidence. One of the main purposes of your first appearance court date is to get the evidence that the prosecution will use to prosecute your driving suspension charge. That evidence will be included in a package called disclosure that will be given to you. What's included in that package and how that evidence is analyzed and how it's used, it's actually critical to getting a positive outcome for your driving suspension case. Four, you must go. Even though your first court date is not a trial, legally you have to show up to that court date. Now you should check whether that court date is in person or online, but you have to attend. If you don't attend, the Justice of the Peace has the option to issue a warrant against you and you may be subject to further charges. Bottom line, show up. Five, do not plead guilty to the charge as is. Now I get it, you know, getting charged with driving while under suspension it's stressful. Uh, you're facing a minimum six month mandatory driving suspension. And in some cases, in some circumstances, you may be facing jail time. Now, what makes the stress even worse is that this legal process you're going to have to go through. It's going to take a long time. That pressure, what happens is it just sometimes leads people to plead guilty because they just want to get it over with. You should not do that because the consequences of a conviction for driving while under suspension can be devastating. Take a step back, speak to an experienced lawyer, get a free consultation about your options. It's very common that when you get an experienced lawyer involved that you're going to get a much better outcome than if you would have dealt with your case without a lawyer's help. Reach out if you've been charged with driving while under suspension. Let's develop a strategy uh, that will save you from a mandatory six-month driving suspension that you're facing. Let's have a free and confidential discussion about your case.